Good morning. My name is uh, Brian Felix Luperito. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of ArcBuild Consultancy. Um, today morning, uh, I woke up and I've been thinking about the clients and how they actually understand the design process in the, in the construction industry. So, for basic knowledge, what I can say is that design is a process that cannot be avoided. It's like writing the blueprint of a movie or writing a book that will be used later to act a movie. It acts like the guideline of the final results that will be shown. So when you do your design better, you will then have a better chance to enjoy the, the creation after the design. Many of especially Kenyan clients who do not understand uh, the design process, basically in architecture, they tend to say it's just a drawing. No, it's not just a drawing. It's something that has been thought through. The way the spaces are arranged are well thought through. The way the house is positioned, the way the location of every single room, the heights, the door selection, it's all thought through. The lobby location, the stair design, the lay railing, the roof design, and the detailed construction drawing, they are all thought through. For instance, a client who requires an architect, you shouldn't go to the builder. The builder is a person who reads the already designed drawing so that he implements it as it is on the design. So consultancy is the basis of a successful construction site. First meet of the client is Um, introduction introduce to the client the client gives you a brief of what uh, he needs you, dis uh, he, you come up with some president images that will be used to guide in terms of the design nature the client that, uh, what the client requires and after that will be able to also to understand the client budget of which the client budget will also uh, translate to knowing what size of area we are working with or what type of house type or low end middle end or high end type of uh, design that we'll be doing after that we'll come up with a with an agreement based on your brief and the payment uh, for the for that uh, for that purpose and the payment basically is the percentage of the construction which is a which should be minimum six percent but I see people go below even three percent after after not uh, asking the client to understand what the design process actually means. So 6% of the amount of the building construction that would be done 
will facilitate the design process to write the blueprint, which is the concept design and the construction drawings. The concept design basically is for number one, for you client to consume during the design process. After that, the finalization of the concept plan will go for submission. After the submission, we'll have a construction drawing that we used on site and which is a booklet of about not less than 50 pages to the minimum because it entails everything interior elevations sections come to detailed plans come to little sectional details door schedule window schedule designs and all that axonometric views column design how it has to be finished the height levels for certain sections it is important to understand these processes because it's difficult for a normal client who is in a different field like accounting to actually understand if not well taken through the design process. So I encourage every designer, every architect out there need to take the client through the design process so that he can understand that he is not just paying for drawing lines but is paying for how the, tif the space has been expressed and how the, the knowledge of, uh, of architecture and design is put in the design and also what also it involves the thought, the, the, the artistic nature of it huh? and it will be acting as the guideline basis for construction. Constructing without construction drawings will actually cost you more than 6% of what you would have paid for for the construction drawing in the first place. Do not lose millions on site just because you said the designer I'm paying the designer too much. No. He's actually securing the construction process. He's actually making your decision on site easier. He's actually making you avoid so many changes on site. So I encourage you to know